In this lesson, we do another land away to Dunk as well, but this time we have a passenger! Hey! <laughs> I must say, I, I admire your bravery. What do you mean? <laughs> well, you know, new pilot and all that. Put the airplane mode on. Right. Something new for you. Oh. Passenger <laughs> briefing. <laughs> Olivia, this is all your fault. <laughs> Right. Now, obviously, the first bit applies only to the person in the front. Right. You can't slide a seat back in the back. Well, that makes sense. Can you? So you've got to take your false teeth out. False oh, teeth out, yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you retightened your safety belt? Is like a demonstration of how to use your safety belt? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Are you sure? Thank you. Can you remove any sharp implements, false teeth, glasses, etc., and stow them securely with any loose items? Okay. Notice. This is obviously in case of the emergency, not in normal flight. Oh, okay. Place your hand. Oh, in, in case of emergency, place your hands in front of your head yep. and place them on the console or back seat. Would you like a demonstration? <laughs> okay. So Keeping your arms and legs clear of flying control. That's not real. When the aircraft comes to a complete stop, release your seatbelt. Demonstration. You put that right Vacate the aircraft through the door. <laughs> and walk to the rear of the aircraft away from the propeller. The doors are unlatched like so. Have you ever opened these doors before? Olivia? I have, yes. You're okay, okay. Yes. And do you know the location of the fire extinguisher? Oh, I do, I've got it back here. Awesome, and the first aid kit? I've got that too. Excellent. Do not return to the aircraft okay. unless you're authorised to do so. Okay. Do we understand? We understand. Excellent. Well, I'm glad I made myself clear. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Superb! I've got the set log. Yep. It's all good. Right, so there's nothing heard. Yeah. Can't see anything. Nothing seen. I think we're good to go. Captain traffic, Gulf Harbor Delta, ready for departure. Uh, okay, so we've got a nice headwind. That'll help get us off the grain. Yeah, all this extra baggage we got today. I know. Hi. <laughs> Okay, so a very slight crosswind from the left, so a little bit of into wind angle, that's it. Okay, 2000. P's and P's are still in the green. Release brakes, bit of right rudder, full power. God, doesn't want to go, does it? <laughs> now they are a bit more sluggish when you've got three people. Oh, don't rotate yet, 55. 55. Yeah. Right, there we go, it's got to rotate now. What a difference! Amazing. You'll find the climb rates not brilliant. So just lower your nose a bit to maintain your 65 knots. Okay, noise abatement. Are we just going to go round well, the circuit? Or how do you want to get to Blackford? Well, we could turn right after noise abatement. Okay. Okay, there's 300. Okay, so if we do a constant traffic call, say we're departing to the south after the uh, after noise abatement. Come the traffic call, Bravo Delta, departing circuit to the south after the noise abatement. Thank you. Right, so you've got to find Blanford. Yes. So I reckon if we go sort of parallel towards the runway and then turn directly south, that should be it, shouldn't it? I don't know, we'll find out when we get there. <laughs> I've found an altitude of 2,600, is that going to be all right? Yeah, keep climbing. I think we might have an inversion layer today, so okay. it might be like when we pop out the top of all this crap. So we start heading in that direction. I reckon that will take us over Lamford.
Okay, so our forward wind will is not great today, so today you have to trust your headings and times. Right. I didn't actually plan from Compton to Blackburn. No, that's alright. We'll find it.
be found and it should keep going up or? Yeah, I've really got a horizon but... I'm sure you'll cope I'm sure yeah. With the next foot beside me and behind me of course with Olivia The pro that she is now What's that circle just before the first checkpoint? What's that circle? That's an airfield, but it's a grass airfield. Haven't got an ATZ. And it's very difficult to find that one. Particularly that is. Oh, that lovely little cloud over there. Oh. <laughs> All by itself, though. That black line there is. Black lines are railway lines. Railway lines. And they're always uh, good to navigate by because there aren't many of them. However, they can be difficult to spot sometimes. What a lovely day! It's not gorgeous. Bad. Gorgeous. There's an inversion layer there where the temperature changes and that's holding yeah. the haze and the mist and the crap down. So sort of landmarks we could navigate with. Well, to be honest, it's not huge. There isn't much on this route um, until we get towards Kruka and Chard, which are very easily identifiable because they're the only sort of big fish towns. Um, the little lake here is usually quite easily visible. Evenly. Your line is running basically parallel to these this hill. Oh, I see. So we should have a reach. Not a very high ridge by the looks of it. Well, it's just there, look. You can see it. Let me on the wrong side, then. Which is the ridge we're looking at? But it's literally there where that yellow field is. So there's the, you know, you're pretty close to it. What's your heading? Uh, two six. Yeah. Not far off heading. A few degrees. So we're just passing a road that's sort of north south ish. It should be that one. Mm hmm. slower than you planned and take longer to get there. That was just about to see Portland Bill, I think, in the distance. And down and to the right of that cloud. Just about make it out. Just about. Peeking through the mist there. Hmm?
radio, please one zero, request uh, air for the information. Please one zero, come down, uh, we'll have a minute here at eight left hand, QFE 9093. QFE 9093, please one zero, be operating in approximately three miles south east of the field, uh, 1,000 feet, we'll be remaining with four minutes, but maintain and listen and watch this frequency. Is there traffic in your circuit? Please one zero, that's in action. So, work out how long have we been going? You can see how far along the track we are then. 24 now. About 15 minutes, so it means we've been going for. Not a lot. 8 minutes, yep. So, which is a bank up the way. On your course again, if this is correct. And we've got another major road below us. That must be that one there then. Yes, sir. Okay. If that's the case, we should have shortly coming up on our cool. right. <laughs> our little leg. Evo Lee! What's it called? Evo! Evo. So what's that mansion down there? That's my house. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Fantastic. I okay, knew it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, you can see the lake. It's just in front of the wing on our right. A bit difficult to make out because of the misty, hazy stuff. I don't really see it. Oh, yeah, I can see yeah. it. Yeah. It looks like a T. It does look like a T. It does, yeah. Okay, so we are probably a little bit left of track. Yeah. There's the village at the end of the bottom of the T. Where's the lake on here? There. Ah, uh, gotcha. And Where's the village? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. We are there. Off track, aren't we? So we're, you know, we are, I don't know, two or three miles off track, something like that. Which makes us turn a couple of degrees to the right. So, if you're a couple of miles off track, you can do the, remember we talked about the 40 degree turn rule for one minute or two minutes yeah. or whatever? And then you can get back on track, but you know, we're, mm, we're not far off. Right, so we are exactly there. I did put down for a freeder about here, is that right, or should we carry on? Yep, go for it. Okay, so fuel pop off. Change tanks. Pressure is good. Fuel pump off. Radio, should we swap to? Yeah, we can put funk as well on now. I'll just check my heading again. And then have a listen to what's going on down there. Zero four. Alright, so Duncan's on it's Duncan's on radio, so it's the same as Compton, they're not in air traffic or anything, so it's just basic information. And to be honest, they answer the radio <laughs> the first time you call them, and that's about it. Okay. I mean, you won't get a reply from them. You'll be calling down wind finals or whatever, and nine times out of ten, they'll just ignore you. Okay, I'll just finish the readers. Uh, so, engine T to P's and green, car P on. I mean, it's charging, selection is good. Heat off. Direction, so we're looking for, let's get wind level rich. Oh, come on, let's get direction right. So we've got five meters only, and there's a final zero four. Right, yes. Two, five, zero. See that? Seems to be well out now. It's about 250 at the moment. Right, so we need to adjust heading. So we've got quite a big town on our right. That would be Krukan, would it? Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, that would make sense, Krukan. He's nodding in the back. Haha, <laughs> 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 should Okay, so back on to your heading, heading, yeah. Heading, which is two, six, seven. So when would you contact? 
front as well. Though. Well, I'd give them a call about 10 miles before we get there. So you 10 miles, something like that. Um, now, can't do an overhead join here. I read that, yeah. Um, and maintain your altitude. Alright, to change altitude as long as you give a good reason for it. But if you say you're going to fly at 3,000, then fly at 3,000. And then control well, call to run down for right hand downwind to zero four. Okay, so they're still on zero four by the sounds it. We'll give them a call when we get a bit closer. Have a look at your DI, that'll give you some idea of which direction the runway is. Okay, so zero four is over here somewhere. So we're going to be turning right onto the uh, final approach. So we'll join on a base. Okay. Okay, so we want to be going slightly to the south of the airport when we get closer. So there it is. Um, so we're going to be coming in here. So we're going to be coming in this direction, yeah. and then we'll turn right onto zero four final. So we're sort of joining at the end of downwind. Gotcha. On a base leg. What's the circuit height here? Yeah, right it down. It's eight hundred. Yep. Right, so we will show another big tank coming up. Chard. That looks very chard like. God, oh, theory me. Use your rule of thumb, roughly 10 miles before is just off the chart. Okay, and then we can give them a call. Yeah, it's the same as Compton requesting uh, uh, airport coming in from the east. Kilo Romeo, readability 5, runway 0 4, right hand, QNH 1022. Q4, 0 4, right hand, 1022. Kilo Romeo. It sounds Irish. Mm. What was the. Uh, QFP, did you say? Yeah, that's Q&A. That's Q&A, right? Yeah. They're about 800 feet above sea level, same as Compton. Could be about 30 less than the Q&A, but they'll give it to you when you call up for the information. Now, if you look at your map, Thanks there's dunk as well, and on the right-hand side as we're coming in, there's an old disused airfield. Which is a pottery. And it's quite easy to misidentify that as dunk as well because it looks like an airfield. Right. Golf up, Charlie. Well, you're friendly, Charlie. Victoria. Golf up, Charlie. Backtrack in Syria 4. Alright, it can be quite busy, so it's time to keep a good look out. We can't go the dead side because of the uh, parachuting. Okay. And we need to look out for the uh, parachuting aircraft. It's a big King Air type of thing. And once he dumps his passengers, he descends and lands pretty quickly. Okay. I've got a door on the back. That's a good mm. point. Actually, if you're coming in here and you're using the shorter runway, he will still be using the main runway. So, bear that in mind if, when you come down here on solo. Okay. If you're on uh, 17 or 35, he might, but he will be using the main runway. But when he calls finals, you might not be in the same place. Okay. Do you think? Go up, Charlie. Just waiting for the aircraft to the runway. Ready for departure. Zero four hours. Golf to Rumble Alpha, Rumble over a shake. I give him a call now. Yep. Let's go for it. Charlie. And it's Dunk as well, yeah. radio. Ah. <laughs> 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 Alpha Charlie. Thank you, radio. Golf Bravo, Romeo Bravo, Delta incoming from the east requesting airfield information. Golf Bravo, Delta, Romeo Bravo. 
tram. Right, right angle to the runway. Your VI can help you with that. And you've got zero four here. Have a look in front, there's a gliding site. Oh yeah, don't go near that, do Don't want to go near that. Hold it off a little bit more, I guess, you know. These things will fly down to 45 knots, don't they? Of course, yeah. So just try not to let it land until it's really not going to fly anymore. Right, tease on me. Oh! Hope you liked the video. And if you did, please hit the like button. Even better, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. See you next time. <laughs>